my favorite thing in the world is other than working with Norma Holland? Oh, Doug, what is it? Uh, well, there's actually a lot of things other than working with Norma Holland. Oh. But it just... In this week's Health in a Handbasket, dietitian and nutritionist Emily Kyle is with us to talk about National Peanut Butter Lovers Month. Mm. Who knew it had a month? That's because everybody thing. loves it. I do and love they peanut had butter. to make a month for it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know anyone who doesn't love peanut butter. Uh, love unfortunately, peanut butter. my favorite things are peanut butter cookies. Uh, and yum. they're good, but not always good not for you. Not always good yeah. for you. I've got some really good healthy recipes okay. here. And I always love peanut butter because when we're talking with diabetics and they want a snack, mm -hmm. I'm always telling them, don't eat just carbs. So, like, for example, don't eat just a banana pair with peanut butter. Right, peanut right. butter that has, is delicious, by the way. I yeah. know. Peanut butter has the natural heart-healthy fats and the protein, which helps to slow the digestive process. So instead of eating just a banana, which could spike your blood sugars, right, sugar. it yeah. takes over time, it just evenly spreads it out so you're not getting those spikes. So always when you're having a snack, peanut butter is a good option to add in. So I look at a jar of peanut butter and I get scared because yeah. I look at the calorie content, which is uh, 200 calories for two tablespoons. That's mm -hmm. correct. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's, that seems like a lot. But. Seems like a lot, but peanut butter is made of our heart-healthy fats, and we know that fat has more calories per gram than carbohydrates and protein, but it's not always bad. These are heart-healthy fats. They have good things going into the body. It's going to help your cholesterol levels, things like that. So while we do get nervous about calories, obviously you're not going to be eating a whole half a cup of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. You're eating just small amounts. Wait, 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 wait. Who said I'm not going to yeah. eat it? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm you sorry, could if you that. wanted to, but you might pay the price later. Yeah, yeah. But these recipes, peanut butter is the accent, so we're getting in the flavor without having all those extra calories. Mm -hmm. So my favorite over here is the Asian, Cal Asian slaw made from the American Diabetes Association. It's going to be made with cow, cabbage, red peppers, and green onions. And, and on their, it. yes, on their recipe they have this, um, it's almost like a Thai peanut dipping sauce. Yep. So you're going to mix melted peanut butter with soy sauce and lime juice, and garlic, and oh my gosh, the juice? flavor is so juice. good. Like, and if you serve it warm over your salad, oh my gosh, it's such a good flavor wow. combination. Okay, yeah, and you put peanut peanuts on top of it. And so. I put peanuts in there too because like I said, I, of course they're calorically dense, but having a little bit is a great addition to any healthy diet. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Really, really I'm good. I'm all about that. It's so oh my God. rich. It what makes is that it, of them? It's going to be peanut butter, soy sauce, garlic, lime juice. And it just makes you want to eat more cow, right? Which yeah. is the goal in the, my, my, my goal for everybody. <laughs> eat more cow. cow. Eat more Covered kale. in peanut butter, it's amazing. <laughs> then you got some chicken. In on the a middle, stick. we've got chicken satay. And chicken this on a has stick. this another peanut sauce to go with it. And this peanut sauce is made with coconut milk. And it's so rich and creamy, and it really just adds a nice pop of flavor to the chicken. And this, for our diabetics, I mean, carb-free, way to go. Adds the flavor. And even if you wanted to combine the kale and the chicken for a perfect meal yeah. in one, it's a delicious peanut buttery meal. It really is. And then at the end here, I have, um, I solved everybody's problem of getting the <laughs> peanut butter onto your bananas. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is put it into a Ziploc oh, bag. Oh, that is a great idea. Like oh, you yeah. did with the sour cream. There and so I have a toddler who just happened, I caught him on the counter eating my Nutella. He really <laughs> did. He did. He was on the counter eating Nutella, so I had to hide it. But this is what I make for him. Just a simple little treat. Oh. We've got a little Nutella and a little bit of peanut butter. So he Easy gets to both. go. But he gets both, yeah. You healthy, right. healthy snack for everybody. Can you imagine Emily being your mom? I know. I mean, she hides the cookies. I try really hard to allow him that little bit of everything. I don't want to be too overbearing. Yeah. You do. You, you'd be a fun, a fun mom. I, I do find myself, for the true confessions, when I have peanut butter on a banana, I sit there with the whole jar open and I cut up the banana and then I put like a half a jar on each little piece of the banana. So you weren't kidding so when I'm you said about it the a little bit. Yeah, Try I mean, it this way because it's automatic portion control and yeah. you won't get peanut butter on your hands. Yeah, because it is kind of messy it's otherwise. It's always messy, and it drives me crazy. So the recipes that you've got here recipes are where here, people You can probably... get them at the American Diabetes Association .com for both of these two, and then this one is on my website, emilykylenutrition.com. Excellent. Yes. So a great, I mean, really a great tool for diabetics to use Absolutely, in their absolutely, yeah. because we're all about preventing those blood sugar spikes. Excellent. Emily, so good. Thank it you is so really much. Good. I'm glad you, you guys like them. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to attack this in the middle of the commercial break. Mm -hmm. um, do you put any, I'm, I'm tasting a little sweetness, is that, mm -hmm. is there any sugar in that? There in is, that there's going to be, so it's a little bit of this Splenda natural brown oh, sugar blend. Really? So okay. the American Diabetes Association really likes to use Splenda. This is Splenda mixed with brown sugar, so mm -hmm. you get that nice brown sugar flavor as well without all the Ooh. calories and extra sugar. Very I like good. that. Thanks, Excellent. Emily. Thanks, Emily. Thank you so much. Great job. See you next week. Weather, traffic, local headlines all coming up next. Would you like some chicken on a stick? <laughs>